Joining me now is former independent counsel and Fox News contributor Ken Starr. Ken, great to talk to you. What was most revealing about the Kleinsmith charge, as I was reading through the information complaint, is that the CIA wrote a memo August 17, 2016, uh, to Comey's FBI saying, hey, wait a minute, this guy Carter Page is one of the good guys. He's been helping us. He's an operational asset, has been for years. He helped us prosecute successfully Russians. Uh, and yet Comey did not disclose this to the FISA court and instead said the opposite, that Carter Page was a Russian spy. Isn't that not just wrongful, but corrupt? It is very corrupt. Uh, Greg, you blew the whistle in your two very important books uh, from last year. And you know who else blew the whistle? Uh, Michael Horowitz, the inspector general. And what we saw with this indictment that uh, essentially, and I know there's a presumption of innocence, which is so important, but essentially uh, Mr. Kleinsmith's lawyers have said, yeah, yeah he, he, he did and he shouldn't have done it. Uh, they may have a very technical uh, excuse as to why he did it, but he clearly doctored a CIA document. And the real tragedy, obviously, is for the country, but at a very personal level, you and I know it's Carter Page, an American patriot, just as you said. He was an asset to the CIA. Here is someone who's helping his country year after year. Carter Page, Naval Academy graduate, a patriot, someone who learned Russian, a Ph.D., an extraordinary human being, treated like a traitor by the Comey FBI. Absolutely outrageous. And, you know, I can just hear Comey now. Whenever he gets caught, he has a sudden case of incurable amnesia or, or dementia. And, oh, gosh, golly, I, I can't really remember. Well, you know what? It wasn't <laughs> just the CIA, uh, Ken, that sent him a memo saying Carter Page is one of ours. Carter Page wrote a personal letter to Comey telling him the exact same thing weeks before Comey signed off on the Warren application to spy on Page. How do I know this? Because Page gave me a copy of the, of the letter he sent to Comey. It's in my book, and Congress has a copy of it, too. So, you know, doesn't uh, Comey need to appear under oath before Congress and, I, and answer these questions? Yes, and I think that's going to happen. I don't know what the witness list is, but I know that uh, certainly uh, Senator Graham has said he wants to hear from these people. And so, uh, as you know, we heard dramatic testimony from uh, Sally Yates, who was the acting attorney general and the deputy attorney general. And she agreed with Senator Graham, as you heard right last week, essentially say, I agree the FBI went rogue under Jim Comey. That is extraordinary. This is one of the sorriest chapters in the FBI's history. It is a glorious uh, institution, as you know, with very able men and women. They were profoundly deserved, as was the country, uh, yeah. as was Carter Page. Yeah, it, it's quite sad because I've said it so many times before. The people who work at the FBI, who do all the hard work, these are honest, honorable people. And, and Comey and McCabe and Peter Strzok and Kleinsmith and others ruined their good name and reputation. Ken Starr, many thanks. As always, good talking to you. Good to talk to you, Greg. Thank you.